Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yesterday it's a little bit warm, <laughs> but I'm not complaining. We've had uh, great weather. Anyway, though, some makeup that I've picked up in the last couple of months. Couple meaning last probably four or five. Um, anyway, yeah, so I guess let's get started. On my face, I guess we'll start there. Uh, I have the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation SPF 15 in the shade 20. It's 30 mils or 1.01 fluid ounces. Uh, it's it's a beautiful kind of, I don't wanna say lightweight because it's kind of is like a thicker cream, but just very sheer coverage. Um, little bit of, it says it has a glow. I don't really feel like it has a lot, maybe a little. Uh, as I'm looking in the viewfinder here. Not a lot of coverage, it's sheer. Um, but yeah, so I have mine in 20, which is kind of for fair, uh, with I guess un yellow undertones, golden undertones, I don't know. That's what I went with. I got this from the Beautylish website. Um, yeah, I think it's rained, it goes for 42 US, yes. Uh, then here in Canada, obviously you have to take into consideration the beautiful exchange, yay! <laughs> um, so yeah, that was from Beautylish, and I might as well continue on with what I, what I, la, 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 la. other things that I purchased from Beautylish, yeah. So, let's, this is a company that I've been really, 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 um, looking forward to, uh, getting my hands on and playing with and it's sugar pill and I bought the cold chemistry collection palette and this palette contains metallic shades um, four and they're actually really good size look at those beautiful and I have there's the green I think subterranean um, Elemental Chaos, Diamond Eyes, and then Soot and Stars. So they all have a metallic kind of finish. I'll just do one swipe. There's the, there's Subterranean, Elemental Chaos, Diamond Eyes, and then Soot and Stars. So that's just a little one little swipe. And I know swiping it is not the same as like putting it on your eyes and so forth, but let me tell you, I've used this, um, sorry, as I get a wipe here, um, these go on beautifully on the eyes with a brush. Uh, you don't have to use your fingers and it's true to kind of swipe, I guess, because a lot of times when you swipe with your fingers, it doesn't go on the same way. The other thing I purchased from Sugar Pill, um, a loose eyeshadow in Goldie Luxe. And it's exactly what it is. It's this luxurious um, gold kind of, not kind of, <laughs> gold shimmer words. Okay. Anyway, that's just a little taste of it right there on this little finger. Yeah. Uh, I've used that kind of all over the eye. You can use it as an eyeliner, whatever your little hearts desire um, in terms of using a kind of a shimmery, goldy, metallic kind of color. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, what else did I purchase from the website? Um, I purchased the Lip Tar. Um, which I already have in the old packaging, Sebastian, and in the new packaging, and I just prefer it a little bit easier to wear with the doe foot applicator. Uh, these are beautiful. They kind of first started, I want to say, the trend of the liquid kind of type lipstick with funky colors, and they have that minty kind of uh, feeling on the lips. Uh, I don't think it's meant to be a plumper, but it, that there is a mint if you are kind of sensitive to it. So just be fair warned. Okay, moving on. Next thing. So, um, Future Mac uh, is the collection that was out, I think, I want to say March, April. There might be still remnants of it in stores. But this is a beautiful um, collection based on looking at the skin and luminosity and metallics and soft. And I purchased a few items from that collection. When I first looked at it, I was like, eh, underwhelmed. It was, you know, pretty basic looking. And then further inspection, I kind of did some swatching and I just kind of was like, wow, this is actually really, really pretty. So the first thing I purchased, or one of the first things I purchased, um, is Ionized, which is a lipstick. And it's a gray, very sheer metallic, not metallic, sheer wash of gray color. It has a kind of almost like a lavender 
purpley undertone, so it makes it a little wearable, more wearable, that is, uh, if you want to be a little bolder. The other one I purchased is Supernova, which <laughs> is quite light. It's, again, on that soft, pastel-y, um, pinky kind of hue. It does have rose. It blends in with my skin, which is why I have to be, you know, have a certain look when I wear this kind of lipstick. The other thing I purchased from that um, collection is the Warm Rose Mineralized Skin Finish. It is a little bit different in their typical uh, skin finishes in that it doesn't have metallic kind of shimmery, shiny kind of look to it. It's basically more of a matte highlighter. It's, uh, it's pink, but it's very, very, very light. It's a very white pink. Um, has a little, if you can, there's like little maybe wash of pink reef, like glitters in it, but very, very few. I definitely put this more on the matte side of highlighting. Um, but it's gorgeous nonetheless. I sometimes use it in the brown bone. I haven't really used it right here to highlight, but um, I think once I kind of play with it a little more, <laughs> I'm just convincing myself why I bought it. But yeah, <laughs> so once I play with it a little more, hopefully I'll get more uses out of it, because right now I'm not, I'm not using much of it. The next one is, uh, what is this called? Cosmic Force, and Cosmic Force is, okay, <laughs> moving on. Cosmic Force is um, a nude, beigey rose kind of color. Um, very, very neutral. It's going to give you just a wash of color on the cheek, especially when you kind of want to give it a little emphasis uh, to the eye look you're looking, you're, you're looking for, that you're doing, and uh, the lip. Uh, if you want to do a bolder lip, it's kind of a nice, just neutral, um, you know, when you put foundation on, your features are kind of flattened out and blank. You want to just give, bring that back. That's a good one for that. The other thing from MAC that they just brought out, and I haven't heard much about it on YouTube, is the Pro Beyond Twisted Lash. It's a new mascara. And what's different about this one, or kind of gimmicky, I guess you want to say, if those of you want to look a little cynical, uh, is the wand is bendable. So you can kind of twist it and manipulate it so that you can get right into the base of the lashes or however. Um, this brush is very, very small, if you can see it there. It's, um, the bristles are very, very tiny. I think it's supposed to be kind of like another option to the maybe Gigablack uh, Gigalash which I love, 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 love. That's one of my favorite. I wanted to see what this one was like, and I have to say I do prefer the Gigablack Lash to this. Um, yeah, uh, it's a wet formula. It does smudge underneath the eyes, whereas the Gigablack does not on me. So I did do a back to MAC, um, and what I kind of swapped my six items for was for the lipstick called Mare, M-E-H-R. It's a matte lipstick. It's kind of a rosy brown color. I'll show you it here in a second. That's what it looks like there. Very pretty, maybe a little too dark for the summer, but um, anyway, it's kind of a nice option to have for perhaps winter time. And then a few other things, let's see here. I purchased, NYX has some new offerings. Well, they're not so, so new, but they're new to me. But they're one of the newer things, and it's the Vivid Lie Liners, Liquid Liners. And these are called Vivid Brights, and they do stay true to the name. And they have some really funky colors. They have like, some greens, and these ones, and yellow, and so forth, that normally you just wouldn't see. And so I picked up Vivid Fire, which is kind of a pinky red. Uh, I picked up Vivid Violet and Vivid Sapphire. I've used the Vivid Sapphire and it stays on. So you have to put like a, just a light little layer um, and you can be really, really creative with these because the wand on them is super, super tiny. I don't know if you can see that. See how tiny that is? But it still allows you to have a good control um, over the line in which you draw. So that's from NYX. And anyway, so I did purchase this Charlotte Tilbury's light, what is it called? Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. I did get this one and it was more kind of in the winter months. Uh, I don't think I can use it um, as summer draws nearer and the, definitely the weather becomes a little bit sunnier, warmer, and my oils just kind of flow. Um, so this is a luminous tint um, and that it is, if you're looking for coverage, stay clear of this. It's not going to give it to you. Also, it does sink into pores, I find. Um, 
if I say if you're trying to decide between perhaps the Natasha Denona versus this, I would kind of go with the Natasha Denona. Sorry, Charlotte, I love you. Um, just because I find this doesn't do much of anything, and if anything, it sinks into pores. I will use it. Uh, you did get 40 mils, and I believe, again, it was, I think, Canadian, 49? You can pick it up at Holt Renfrew or even Beautylish sells it as well. Um, so yeah, so there's that. Um, there's also the VIB Rouge sale that happened in early April. Uh, I never really made a video on what I purchased, so this is it. <laughs> uh, and there's a few things that I purchased from that sale. And first of which is the Melted Matte Too Faced Liquid Lip. This is their new uh, liquid lipstick in matte formulation, as the name would imply. And so this I have in Queen Bee. And there's a few other ones I want to check out. And then I also purchased the Smashbox Insta Matte Lipstick Transformer. It's basically a silicon-based topper. Um, if you want to transform any of your kind of satin or cream, not used for glosses, lacquers, or bombs. There you go. So uh, if you want me, I can try that out and I'll put a post on my blog. Um, or I can do a video here. The other thing that I picked up from the VIB sale is the nude stick uh, from, well, nude sticks. <laughs> um, and it's the magnetic eye color in Twilight. And it comes with this big bulky um, packaging uh, and then a sharpener inside to sharpen the pencil. And uh, this is what it looks like here. It's a beautiful kind of taupey taupey purpley color um, that's very just nice as a nude would, as the name would imply kind of nude type colors. Pick up the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Concentrate in fair light. Um, I wear it under the eye. I wouldn't ex I would not recommend it wearing it all over the face. It does give a glow uh, and it's beautiful light weight under the eye. Uh, gives a, some kind of coverage. I wouldn't say full coverage but it's quite lovely. Um, and I use this with a Sephora F Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush in 57. This I did pick up as well. Um, I like it for buffering under the eye here. Um, and I just kind of pat or buff or what have you. Oh! No! Mmm. From the VIB Rouge, yes. But for overall, no. I did pick up some colors from Makeup Geek. I picked up uh, some eyeshadows. I haven't tried any of her eyeshadows. And oh, I've been wanting these, they're so pretty. And the formulations are so nice. <laughs> and I picked up a few, I picked, what did I, what did I get, what did I get, what did I get? Oh, it doesn't have one here. Um, I picked up Steampunk, Cosmopolitan, Bada Bing, Barcelona Beach, Moon Dust. Um, and I can do, I guess, a video about that if you want. I'm using a look. Thanks for watching guys and mwah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!